Hi there. This is Anoop. Today we are going to talk about Microsoft 365 Defender portal. A quick walk through of Microsoft 365 Defender for endpoint. We will be concentrating on endpoint related node within Microsoft 365 Defender portal. So we will see vulnerability reports. We'll see assets section and we'll look into devices and we'll go into details. What are the things which you can see from the Defender portal about devices vulnerabilities remediations risk score and lot more details so don't skip the video let's go ahead and check this out i have logged into security.microsoft.com that is nothing but microsoft 365 defender and we are in the home page i use azure ad user id to log into this portal so you should have appropriate access to log in and perform the activities and this is the home page as you can see and in the home page you can see a lot of details about that we will have a quick walk through later but i just wanted to have a quick walk through of the node options over here on the left side home that is what we are going to concentrate as a first thing and then we will go to assets and then we will concentrate on devices that is the main point for this video and then we will go into endpoints and we will check all these things vulnerability management partner apis evaluation tutorials configuration management etc let's log into microsoft 365 defender portal and check the endpoint details over there in the home page dashboard you would be able to see secure score 85 percentage non-complaint there are malware remediated activities shown in the dashboard also secure score is there and then user risk is highlighted active device you can see as one recently discovered device in your organization one because we on Loaded one device using Intune. Then you can go to devices under assets. In devices, you would be able to see the device which we onboarded because the onboarding has been completed now. You can see the onboarded device and the total number is one. And the onboarded device, you can see that is a cloud PC. It is Azure AD joint device and exposure level also mentioned over there. Medium and Windows version, sensor health, onboarded last update from the device managed by Intune so those are the available details over here now if you click on the device that will take you to the detailed analysis of this particular device overview will give you the domain joint type and windows version and then onboarding scenarios managed by Intune exposure level is medium you can also see logged on users and the scan details you can see over there and version numbers of each engine is also mentioned over there now let's go to incident and alerts tab i don't have anything over here in this lab setup timeline you can see some details over there in the timeline svc host initiated http connection to particular windows update portal etc and svc host deleted some of the files all those details you can see in the timeline if you click on that black box over there that will give you more details as you can see this entities involved in this and technical information there are some hyperlinks also you will get more details if you click on that hyperlink all the details are very well displayed in this now let's go to security recommendations there are a lot of security recommendations i can see 15 items over here edge chromium update turn on tamper protection controlled folder access it is a virtual device that is why BitLocker is not enabled and related components also interesting over there now let's look at software inventory defender is able to collect the software inventory details as well and it can save product code as well that is very important for analyzing the cve etc and installed versions vendor details all those details are available here in the software inventory discovered vulnerabilities that is very important 
and you can see there's already a vulnerability which defender found that was related to microsoft edge chromium and the published date for that vulnerability and first detected date also mentioned over there so this is very very useful information and missing kbs there's nothing over here at the moment but you will see if there's any missing kbs later and in the advanced features you can add additional vulnerability management details into defender using application control security baseline browser extension options and certificate inventory options let's go to the vulnerability management and all the other details related to endpoints from here so there are vulnerability management dashboard and recommendations all those details are available here so you can see exposure score is 30 out of 100 and then top security recommendations are also there remediation activities top vulnerability softwares microsoft edge and the exposure is medium for this particular device all those details are available under vulnerability management dashboard you can see the recommendations over here from the recommendations tab and uh, this is the same list we had gone through remediation plan if you have any you can create exceptions and you can create a blocked application list etc using the next level of vulnerability management inventories you would be able to see all the inventory software inventory and certificate inventory and browser extension you need to enable the other stuff which we discussed previously weaknesses you would be able to see cve missings event timing details you can see over here under events there are partners and other options available there are different partners you can connect to defender atp api and you can use api explorer from here that is very useful i would say maybe this is for the future video and evaluation tutorials are very good if you want to simulate some of the stuff you can go to tutorials and simulations and then get the simulation file and run it on the onboarded device then you can simulate and go through what has happened how defender is going to protect your environment etc in the configuration management you can see in tune managed device one and that device is what we were checking previously now that you have seen all the details about microsoft 365 defender portal specifically related to endpoint devices so you know where to look if you want to check the vulnerability list for a particular device you want to check which user is logged in and lot more things you have learned from this video hopefully this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around